Hi there YouTubers, this is Roscoe, welcome to my review of the Hot Toys Guardians of the Galaxy Star-Lord 1-6 scale collectible figure. Alright, let's go take a look at the packaging first. We have a really nice slipcover style package, which is quite uncharacteristic of Hot Toys. With their Marvel figures they usually do a shoebox style. But overall, we've got a really nice image of Chris Pratt, the Star-Lord, on the front, in that same pose you see him on the movie poster, coming through the, the G letter, Star-Lord, MMS 255, you've got the stars in the background, which is really nice, and you've got that really cool 80s retro gridding down the bottom. This is the Sideshow exclusive, which comes with a couple of extra accessories. On the side you have Star Lord heading again. You got your warnings on the back. And your Star Lord heading on the side again. You slip that off, you have the interior box, which holds the figure and contents. Custom crew. A similar design as you see in the movie where the computer scans them when they're captured. Guardians of the Galaxy heading. I think that's on the bottom as well. On the side you have a height chart. You have your standard window which usually holds the clamshell case with the figure. Heading again. Overall, really nice packaging for a slipcover style box. Very nice. Accessories we get instruction leaflet, you get two of his blasters. Now, these are actually uh, sculpted per hand, they're a matching pair. So, this one's for his right hand. Got that carbon fiber look, which is really nice. So, this one you can't actually get his hand to grab on the left hand. It's designed for the right. Got a really nice purple fading in and out. And the two blasters, one at the top, shoot the kill I think, and the bottom one is the stun. Oh, they're really cool guns. You get three spare hands. They're really nicely detailed. They look really weathered and worn. Pretty good for fully molded hands. You get spare buttons or like little like little diamante buttons in case the ones on his coat fall off. You got some spares. You got spare hand pegs. You get his little light up globe, which he has in the beginning of the film when he's trying to get the orb. He shakes it a couple of times and it lights up. Seeing this is the Sideshow exclusive, you get the extra handcuffs, so you need to remove the hands to put them on. They're pretty basic, got a nice blue colouring on this side, that's just a single piece of plastic. And the thing that sealed the deal for me to get the exclusive is the orb, which fits nicely in his clenched hand there. That's just a solid bit of plastic as well. You also get his alternate head sculpt. The mask is really nice, all beaten up. Looks weathered. You got the hair showing at the top. The back plate comes off and you have a switch inside. The cell battery is already installed. You just have to pull the plastic tab out to activate them. But I've heard that they run out very easily once you switch it on. The lights on the front, they are quite bright and they do suck the power um, quite easily. So, if you're wondering why yours has run out already, it's just because they use a lot of power. But overall, that's really cool. And that has a peg underneath, 
which actually doesn't articulate, it's just a solid peg. Whereas the one that's on the Chris Pratt head sculpt um, is has an articulation or move, it's double, double jointed sort of, so it moves at the top. So you get a bit more movement out of the Chris Pratt sculpt. Get this new base, which I quite like. It's modern, it's different, and it doesn't take up a lot of room. Got that nice flooring, which just looks like contact, plastic contact, stuck on, the usual crotch grabber. You also get his Walkman. Obviously Hot Toys would have had to get permission from Sony to print the logo, so I don't think they bothered. You got the awesome mix tape in there, which is really cool. The wire goes up to the headphones, which don't articulate or move, they're just a solid piece. And you can slide that over the neck no problem without having to remove the head. Here we have his left gun. And you also get his sort of satchel. You have to remove the head to put that on. You slide it over the arm. Slide the whole thing over the arm, remove the head. That sits on. This part here is sort of loose. You've got to loop that around the other side of the satchel. And click it on. And that's really nicely detailed. All the different folds in the sort of pleather, the little button tabs there. The zipper actually works, undoes, and you can slide it down and up. Feels really nice here. Look at the detail of the fabric, like little targets. Like just having to make a mass produced amount of those would have been a nightmare. They do such a fantastic job of outfits, hot toys. Speaking of outfits, his coat, it's pleather as well. But you have all these little raised sections all over it where they would have been stamped and all the seams and sort of sew marks. Like, there's so much that's been involved in making this outfit. You got your shoulder pad there, more raised sections, his t-shirt, pants are really cool, his boots, he actually doesn't move in the ankle, so it can be a little bit difficult to get him to stand certain ways. You got his rockets on both his shoes. coat is also frayed and weathered at the bottom and aged where he's made repairs and certain parts of it have the wire so you can get some nice poses and sort of dynamic poses out of the cape or the sorry not the cape the coat so detailed it's sort of forearm armor on this side you also have his gun holsters on both legs and they click in really nice and they stay in. And lastly, we have the Chris Pratt head sculpt, which is really nice. They had it blurred out when pre order went up, but um, I was always going to get this figure. I love the movie, it's my favourite movie of last year. And decided to collect this line instead of the Cap America 2 line. And I'm glad when they showed pictures, it was really good. Even got his little earpiece where the mask opens up from. You got that nice rubber ish body, sort of soft. You feel the hard rubber underneath. As I was mentioning, the other head sculpture has got that one plug that clicks in. You can spin it on the ball joint, whereas this one clicks in here and clicks in in the actual head as well. So you've got two areas of movement to move the neck. So you have a greater range of posability with the head with this one. It's a fantastic figure. Definitely very refreshing to have 
a movie you love and a new character from it that you don't already own or haven't got before. Really, really am happy with it. I'm glad I am happy with it because I had to wait a long time to get it from pre-order time to it finally was released and then the US issue which is this one was held up in the in the docks for a couple of months the strike or the port strike and finally when it came in stock I paid the last flex pay and got it out a bit earlier than I than I could have so very happy with it. As I said, definitely fresh air, breath of fresh air and great piece to have in the collection. It was such a good movie. I really am looking forward to Gamora. Have the Rocket and Groot double pack exclusive on order as well. And just waiting for the pre-order of Drax to come up. Which seems to be taking a worrying amount of time. But overall, it's an excellent figure. If you haven't got this yet, do it now. I think it's going to be one of those pieces that people are going to be wanting to track down in time. They didn't get it. Especially when Guardians 2 comes out. And all the Marvel hype is at a maximum at the moment, so... It definitely is an amazing piece. Definitely, if you're a Marvel fan, you'll want this. So it's an excellent figure, guys. And I'm sure you'll be very happy with it, and I know a lot of people have this in their collection already. Alright there guys, I'll leave it at that. Hope you enjoyed watching this video slash review of Hot Toys Star Lord. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye for now.